While Zotero is an excellent software application for collecting, organizing, annotating, citing, and sharing research, there is an alternative that is completely web-based and does not require you to install software. However, it can't do all of the functionality that Zotero can do. Let's take a look at Zotero Bib. You can visit the site at zbib.org. It's a completely web-based alternative to the software program Zotero. Now, I'm going to add a book and a journal article to Zotero Bib. I'm going to use things I've already searched for to save time today. I'm going to start with an article I found earlier, and I can either use this DOI number, or I can use the title to find this article and add it to ZBib. It's going to search for that title, and when it finds it, it's going to give me the option to add this. And now I've added this to my bibliography here on the Zotero Bib website. Currently, I have APA 7th edition selected as my style. I could pick Chicago or MLA if those were what I prefer. But I'm going to use this APA 7th as my example today. So I'm also going to find a book. Actually, I'm going to find the book that's referenced in this article. The book is called The Shock Doctrine. So I'm going to find the book called The Shock Doctrine. And I'm going to... Um, show you how ZBib isn't perfect and sometimes makes mistakes. If I use the permalink option and I try to paste the URL for this book into my search bar, I'm going to get an error message. When that happens, you simply delete the item and you use the full title. So I'll say the shock doctrine. It'll pull up a list of everything that meets that uh, title. The third one is the one I want. It's a book by Naomi Klein. So now I have a book and a journal article stored in Zotero Bib. It's really quick and easy to get these items out of Zotero Bib. I'm going to use the example of a Google Doc today and open up a blank Google Doc. and type some text like, hello world, and then assume it's time for me to enter a citation. I come back to Zotero Bib, and the parenthetical, excuse me, the parenthetical citation can be entered by clicking on the uh, quotation marks that you see out to the right of the item you've added to ZBib. Simply click that. Now, because this is APA, I only need a page number if it's a direct quote. For the purposes of showing you what that looks like, I'll put in a page number here, and you'll see there's my parenthetical citation. I'll copy it. I'll go to my Google Doc, and I'll paste it. I can repeat this process for the uh, journal article that I found as well. Same process. I click on the quotation marks. And in this case, I'll pretend it's not a direct quote. And I'll just do the author and date and copy citation. No page number required unless a direct quote in APA. MLA always wants those uh, page numbers, just FYI. I'll come back in here and I'll paste this. And now I'll pretend I'm ready for my entire bibliography. Well, I've got a couple of options here. I can pull up the citation for the bibliography by clicking on the sheet of paper icon or I can gather a bibliography made of everything in this list by clicking on Copy to Clipboard and then coming back to my Google Doc and pasting. Now, it's not unusual for your uh, font to not match the document font. In this case, it did, so we're good there. But uh, you can always highlight the text and change the font if that's necessary. And remember, you always want to proof these citations and make sure that they're accurate. So what I can do is come back to ZBib, and if for any reason I decided that there was something wrong with one of these citations and they needed, I needed to edit, I could click on it, and I have access to all of the citation fields. For example, here is the entire name of the journal, but here's the abbreviation of the title of the journal. 
Here's my DOI number that I need for my citation. Here's my URL. I also have my date accessed, all of my authors, and my title. You can also manually enter an item by filling out the form. If you're having trouble using the title, the URL, the DOI to get to the item. I've got one important warning for you before we end this video, and that is all of the information in Zotero Bib, unlike Zotero, is stored only in the browser cache, which means if at any point in the process of using Zotero Bib, you clear your browser cache, you will lose all of your citations. So none of this is stored in a Zotero account or anywhere permanent. It is stored temporarily in your browser's cache.